Hey guys, welcome back to Tomorrow Route 16. I am your host Javon, and today we're up for a brand new video. Today we show you guys how to get some boost, some performance on your Windows 10 PC or laptop. Basically, um, I've been getting some requests for this. Sorry about the audio once again. Headsets gone. Have to use headphones. Not great, but regardless, we are trying to just show you guys. There's a, I know there's a lot of videos out there on YouTube telling you to do this, do that. Realistically speaking, if you have integrated graphics. They aren't really going to help you to the extent you're looking for. What I found is these are the best ones that would help you because mainly if you have a low end PC, the, the settings you need to be tweaking are the game settings. Tweaking settings on your PC won't help you that much. But here are some four things that will manage to help you out. Basically, I'm just going to go through these really quickly because we're trying to, I just, like I said, I keep getting requested this. So we're going to get through this really quickly for you guys. I will leave a link in the description for each and everything that is listed here today. The first one I have, if you have an integrate if you have Intel CPU, throttle stop is necessary. Especially if you are you're using a laptop because if a laptop when you're playing a game and it gets hot, your core clock will down clock. And that's not good. Your CPU will down clock. And that's not good because you're actually losing performance. Here you can actually stop that from happening. If it's too hot you can disable turbo so that it doesn't go to the overclock, which means it would never probably drop from your base clock. Or you can up your wattage so that it can continue to be on the thermal speed at all times viewer discretion is advised i i imagine i'm going to tell you now if it's if you're getting 90 degrees don't do this okay but if you have breathing room with how hot your cpu is th throttle stop definitely will help you out you can actually max out all of your cores. I imagine with laptops, most of you have two cores and four threads. I'd imagine with most of my viewers. So yeah, we can undervolt, but we're not going to get into that here today. Basically, you can keep your core clock up at, at all times. Let's move on to the next one. That's very simple. I've already done a video on that already. So yeah, the next is memory duct. Memory duct is also important. If you have 48 gigabytes of RAM, this one always helps you out because this can actually clean your memory and give you back the RAM that you would have previously used. Yeah, it may cause a stutter here and there, but realistically speaking, if you have 8 gigs and you're trying to play AAA games of today, you're screwed. It's gonna, it's gonna be crazy. It's gonna stutter like mad. You're gonna hit that 8 gigs immediately. With this at least, you can clean it whenever. You, I have it normally set that if it hits 90%, we can clean it and you'll get back that RAM. So your RAM, necessarily speaking, won't be the issue. Just your CPU and GPU and everything else. Yeah, fun times. Regardless, <laughs> I do recommend Memory Duck. If anything else, I do recommend Memory Duck for you guys. The next for you guys is Integrated Graphics, once again, which is most of my viewing audience. <laughs> I do recommend CRU because the Intel AC drivers, for some reason, has disabled custom resolutions. I normally use this to drop my custom reses down. Um, you simply need to put in the custom res here, 640 by 480, 720 by 576 hit OK, and then restart your computer. Basically, that will give you these resolutions when you're in-game. In case you didn't know, a lot of people ask me, how did you get to 960 by 540? How did you get to this low resolution? I put them in CRU Utility, restart, and then it will pop up in-game. If it doesn't, there's also another way you can do it by simply changing the resolution of the screen before you launch the game and then if the game has borderless then it would run at that resolution i need to stress that i keep stressing that to people they're not listening but once again though here we go and finally there's windows 10 the bloater for those of you who want to debloat i do have a script from i think it was i'm actually just going to leave him his link in the description as well but this the bloater actually does work out as well Basically, you're gonna run with PowerShell, and it does give you some setup to be able. To, I'm not gonna use it, but you'll say yes to all, and it basically will make you be able to, you know, downgrade the color of the monitor, disable some things in the background. It is useful if you have a limited RAM once again, but that's what Mem Reduct is for. I can't keep stressing this enough. I just wanted to point out these four videos, these four things to you that I use personally to get the most performance out of my computer but once again it comes down to simply tweaking the game settings which i always do so if you guys like seeing games played on low-end hardware don't forget to hit that subscribe button leave a link comment share all that stuff 
I enjoy all of it, guys. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Like I said, it was a short video. It's gone a bit too long already. See you guys again.